Hello, my name is Etika, and how are you doing today, Pokemon Beta? Happy 4th of July, it's going to be a great, great day. Um, school is off for most of you, so um, I'm glad that it's off, because you'll be able to sit here and watch my video. And it's going to appear in this space here, so yeah, I feel really good about that. Oh, look at the abusive couples outside. Wow, living in New York is sure a great experience. You get to see people get beaten in hallways and stuff. It's really interesting. But anyways, um, I'm here to present you with a 5th gen battle. And um, this battle is actually pretty old, guys. I mean, it came from back when 5th um, gen didn't have people using Stealth Rock all the time. Can you believe there was a time like that? But um, anyways, in early 5th gen, no one used Stealth Rock. So, I mean, this is a battle from that time period. So you can know that it was a while ago. But um, anyways, no team preview in this one either. I'm just going to go ahead and narrate. It's a pretty old battle. So, I mean, I hope it's still up to you standards. But, um... Regardless, let's get into it. So, um, the battle should appear to my right side. And so, I'm battling someone named Manu, right? And um, he leads with a Politoed, which is a standard lead for a Politoed. I mean, um, it usually, it probably has the Rain Dance. And as you can see, it does have the Rain Dance. Well, rather than Rain Dance, with Drizzle. So, um, it starts to rain, I leave with my Wind Tuck. Now, he switches. And um, I didn't know he would switch, but um, I kind of did at the same time. So I go for a light screen here to probably protect myself against his hydro pumps, even though they would be doing a lot of damage. But um, Wintuck, or Cryogonal, has really, really good special defense, so I knew it wouldn't do that much. I go into Virgo, who's my defensive middle queen, and um, she takes the hit pretty well. Wait, oh, never mind, she takes that horribly. I mean, that was a really, really nasty hit. But um, anyways, he goes back into his Polytoad, and now... Um, I know that I don't want to take a Hydro Pump to the face, so I go back into Winter, who has excellent special defense, and with the light screen up, you're going to see how much this Hydro Pump does. It doesn't really do all that much at all. It does half damage. Well, not even half, a little bit less than half. I mean, especially with the rain falling, you got to admit, that's really good. Anyways, um, while he switches out, I go for the Reflect, because I want to make sure that um, even if Scizor does manage to deliver a hit to some Pokemon, I'm able to live. So um, I go back into my defensive Nidoqueen. And um, I know I could sponge the hit from the superpower because I'm in a queen. I gave it, um, I gave it max defense EVs and I gave it max special attack. So um, its special attack is going to be hitting hard with the sheer force and the life orb as well. So I'm in a queen. It makes a really, really interesting Pokemon to play around with. It walls Terrakion really good. But anyways, go for the Ice Beam. I knew it, I was hoping he would bring in the Latios, but um, he didn't. And he goes for the Hydro Pump. I didn't want anything else taking that. So sadly, Virgo has to go. I really. I really do like Virgo a lot too because she actually happened to be one of my best members. I still use her to this day. But um, now I go into Modern, who is my Kangaskhan. And um, I love her with a passion, to be honest. So, but anyways, I retaliate right on the Scizor's face. And the amazing part is that it almost does half damage to him. Now, um, my light screen and my reflect wear off. But I'm not too worried about that because um, I can wall this Scizor pretty well um, with Bermuda, who is on the flying psychic type. And um, she's actually a pretty amazing Pokemon in the beginning, I mean, but uh, he switches out with the U-turn, and it's a neutral resisted hit, and I hope I would take it a little bit better than that, but whatever, I go for a Calm Mind. I know most of these guys, in terms of Tornadus, are um, special, so I figured that, you know, with the Calm Mind, I could survive the Hurricane, and so um, I figured that I'd be... Okay, so I go into Tauros now, and um, Tauros, I'm able to retaliate because I have max speed. And I had to make sure that max speed was max speed. So um, with the sheer force, the um, Rock Slide is going to pretty much take um, Tornadus out. Not Thunderous Tornadus. Anyways, um, he goes back into his Scizor, right? And um, I just figured I would stay in because there was nothing else I could really do at this point. I didn't want something switching in. And um, he just goes with the U-turn again, so I mean, that benefits me pretty well. I thought he was going to Superpower, but um, luckily, he didn't, even though the U-turn practically tears my Taurus' ass off. So, um, he goes into Toxic Croak now, and I figured I could attack, but, you know, Toxic Croak, now, well, back then and now, they carry Sucker Punch a lot, so um, that pretty much tore my Ionis apart. And now I go into Madre, and I retaliate. Now, tell me if you think Toxic Croak is living this. Oh, I'm so sorry, Toxic Croak. You're an amazing Pokemon in the rain, but you, but you can't fuck with Madre. You just can't. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Anyways, so I go into Madre. She takes the bullet punch, survives it, and I decide I'm taking this scissor down with me. Drain punch right to the face, absorb some health. Then I go for the sucker punch. Boom. One, two. Scissor is out of here, man. It was a really good move at, on my part as well because I feel that that scissor was being a really big problem. I'm just glad I was able to take him out. But now he goes into the Latias, and um, I know this Latias is going to be a problem, so um, he sets up a substitute. 
which is even worse because now he can basically set up calm minds in my face all day. So I figure the plan would be here to make sure that I can take down that substitute for one of my other Pokemon to come in and revenge kill that Latias. Even though I know that's exactly, well that's not exactly an easy thing to do, but I mean, I figured I could do it as long as I get that sub down. I keep going for the Sucker Punch, eventually he attacks, the sub goes down, and um, his Latias doesn't even get the pleasure of killing me because my life warp does a job instead. So, uh, Madre put in a lot of work in this match, so um, I'm really, really grateful to her. But um, anyways, so we have a Latias up now with two boosts, I believe. I can't remember if it was two or three, um, but... It's a lot of boost regardless. And people who play with Pokemon like this get very greedy. So um, I go in there with Wintuck, he calm minds again, and I'm hoping this Ice Beam will castrate this guy, but it doesn't. So um, Latias is still in there, pretty strong if I do say so myself. Most likely has a recover on it. He goes for the calm minds like over and over again. Like I'm really seriously worried about this because the Latias at this point, it, it'll be a problem if it is able to defeat like my Wintuck, because my Wintuck is basically my special wall, and if um, I'm not able to kill him like this, then it'll be game over. But um, I take this opportunity to switch in my Hanzu, because he he's calm minded, he's greedy, he's real greedy right now. So luckily Hanzu was able to come in safely without taking a move to their face or anything. I go for the Sucker Punch, because he sees Hanzu as a threat, the Sucker Punch destroys Latias. I and don't think that it was something about damage calculation or we could have lived it. I have one hit KO'd multiple Latias and Latios with Sucker Punches from Lucifer. Now, I take the Hydro Pump right to the face after the Sucker Punch to the Politoed. Do you think I'm going to live this hit here? I am. <laughs> Focus Sash activates. And um, luckily I'm able to stay in the match. He switches out though and goes into his Electrovire. But um, here's the problem because he knows I have the Sucker Punch. So now, he keeps switching back and forth to prevent me from using the Sucker Punch on him. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. Um, he goes for the Ice Punch. I switch into um, Wintuck to be able to take it. I didn't know she would be able to survive it, uh, but she, I mean, but she does naturally. Oh, wait, it has no gender. It's, it, it survives naturally, and um, I go for the Ice Beam, hoping to kill, but you know, nah, I didn't. Regardless, he takes down um, Wintuck. And now I'm on my last Pokemon. Now here's where it gets extremely interesting. We have Lucifa in there, but he knows I have the Sucker Punch, so he won't attack me directly. And now it's a whole switching game. You gotta know what's going to happen. Am I gonna Sucker Punch or am I gonna attack? And he keeps switching back and forth to prevent my Sucker Punches from hitting him. So he is basically trying to stall me out of my Sucker Punches, and then to retaliate with an attack from his Pokemon. He, he, he keeps switching in and out, and it's like, I know I can kill him if I just play my cards right. So on this turn, I believe, Set up for the sucker punch. Oh wait, oh no, he does it again, dude. It's getting really down to the wire. Cause I, my last Pokemon is a Houndoom with one HP in the rain. I just go for the heat wave on this turn because I figured he would switch again. And luckily, it does a meh amount of damage, but it's in the rain, so I can't expect it to kill. He thinks I'm gonna sucker punch again. I heat wave, man, because I'm not wasting any more time. The heat wave is able to take down the Electrovire in the rain. Thank goodness. And now he only has his Politoed left, he has no other choice to attack. I go for the Sucker Punch and the match is mine. Whew. That was a very intense battle though. I mean, whew. Pokemon's a bit better. I mean, you, you, my forehead is sweating. Do you, do you see my forehead? Like, I'm, I'm really... But um, anyways, um, that was a great match. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I launched um, my new channel recently, the Etical World Network, and it's taking off quite well. I mean, if you guys want the latest news, um, the latest Pokemon news on battle videos, competition, etc, etc, please add me on my channel. I have a lot more content for you guys, and it's not just Pokemon, even though I have Pokemon covered, trust me. But um, anyways, take care of yourself. Um, I will talk to you all later. Pokemon Pit Beta, thank you for hosting my video, and um, I will see you later. Peace.